How are you doing, Stefan? I'm doing fine. We just played uh, at Solafar Festival tonight, and it's been a pleasure to play in the Netherlands again. We don't have the opportunity that often to play out of Germany, so we've been very honored uh, to play here. And it's been a nice festival, everybody was cool. Nice crowd, and I guess a lot of people enjoyed the show tonight. For, uh, for sure, I enjoyed uh, your show. It's, um, I've been looking forward to seeing your new life, personally. Thank you very much. It's yeah. great to hear. We, we don't play that often live shows, um, since everybody of us has other um, bands and uh, mm -hmm. you know things to do, aside from doing music and playing music. And, uh, well, if we play live, uh, it's a festival or a, a special show we really like to do. And... Yeah, well, take the eight hours drive <laughs> to <laughs> exactly. Alkmaar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, um, why is the band named like it is, and is there a certain meaning for it? Um, there is a meaning. <coughs> take your time. Ah, I'm getting old. <laughs> um, there's a Dark Throne demo from, uh, I guess, 89. It's called Tulkandra, and it's uh, the most rough uh, record, uh, if you can call it record, they, they ever did, and it's uh, completely rotten it sounds like a old garage recording but i love it mm. i really love it and um, it, it has some kind of vibe and uh, well some some feeling um, you, you cannot reproduce with a real a high classy high-end uh, studio production mm -hmm. and uh, it's bas uh, basically i like the name i liked the demo back then and nobody else took the name so we so you we, took it. We, we call ourselves Tour Conrad, that's the point. Mm. And uh, I'm really proud of that. Cool. All right. Um, uh, how did you come together as a band? You uh, mentioned earlier that uh, all the members from uh, Tour Conrad are in uh, different bands. Uh, are you in a different, uh, different band too? Uh, well, that's a very long story. Um, actually, it all began with a band called Obscura from Germany. Mm -hmm. I found it in 2002. Uh, but a year later, we split all those black and death metal, uh, the, the Swedish black death metal influences we had back in the sound, uh, to a new band uh, to focus more on uh, tech death. Mm -hmm. So Tukandra was born in 2003. Um, we recorded a, a demo in 2004 or 5, I don't remember exactly anymore. But uh, the lineup back then split up just after recording that demo, since the, the guitarist who was a co-founder uh, committed suicide. Mm. So the band uh, was on ice for a couple of years, and in 2008 I met some friends of mine um, mm -hmm. from a band called Hilfart, and uh, they are still in the band. So that's Sebastian Ludwig and Tobias Ludwig, and with them we basically reformed the band. And from 2008 on we started to take it a little bit more serious. Mm -hmm. We started to, well, dealing with record companies, we uh, recorded three uh, full-length album, mm -hmm. albums and, well, played a couple of smaller tours, played a couple of festivals and uh, took it, as I mentioned, a little bit more serious as, yeah. a, as a real band. And from then, um, well, I, I think uh, from 2008 on, releasing four, no, three albums and uh, re-release those demos is a very good, a very good uh, chart. Very well. Um, where is the band stationed? Where do you do you rehearse uh, at, at a, a central place or? Uh? Uh, we rehearse close to the Munich airport in Munich, South Germany. Okay. So we are all based uh, around Munich and a little bit of north. Um, I'm personally coming from a, a small city called Landshut. Mm -hmm. um, it's Bavaria. Okay. Um, what uh, band inspires you? Do you have a certain band uh, that uh, inspires you to make this music? Or uh... it's it's more the music I grew up with in the mid early and mid nineties, um, especially bands like Dissection, like Unanimated, Mercuryning, like all of those Invasion and uh, No Fashion Records uh, mm -hmm. bands that got a couple of albums released back yeah. then, like Gates of Ishtar, who, uh, who are doing a re uh, reunion in. In April, no August next year at Partisan Festival, and okay. all, all of those bands who, who uh, combined those those black metal feeling with a little mm -hmm. bit more rock vibe, but still keeping it dirty and real. Like yeah. it's 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 not those overproduced records you're listening to. Mm -hmm. It's not um, 
not like produced to death. It's yeah. it's like exactly. you really hear uh, or listen a real band playing. Yeah, it's more recording. natural. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. It it, it yeah, yeah. has a real feeling a and a little uh, bit of a raw touch uh, on it. Yeah, and you, you can separate every band not from the sound, but how they play, and that's something I really enjoy. And that's yeah. that's something I really enjoy and, and yeah. love. So it's more the whole scene from back then. Yeah. I I love and try to to reproduce with this band. Yeah. I also noticed that in uh, in your recordings, it's not um, over mixed and uh, over produced. Thank you very much. Yeah. That, that was the aim. I guess it could always be a little bit better, mm -hmm. but uh, who who's releasing a perfect album so yeah, exactly <laughs> um, we're always working on the drum sound on the guitar sound on the vocals and everything but uh, we try to keep it natural we try to keep this rock vibe yeah. and thank you that's that's really an honor to hear that that you yep. listen to that and and uh, realize what what we are doing yeah. Um, when I uh, listen to your music uh, it, it, it indeed reminds me of uh, dissection really how that's comes I don't know. It's, uh, it's just uh, the melodies in the guitar lines. It, uh, it, it's, it's quite similar to Dissection, I think. It was the main influence, definitely. When we founded the band, it was a Dissection and Unanimated yeah. who made us playing this yeah. music. Really cool, because uh, when, when I uh, listen to, uh, to, the, to the music, um, I hear a sort of Dissection, but then with a modern form and uh, in, very good, um, in very good vibes, too, in the, in the music itself. How do you do, how do you produce that uh, kind of um, emotion in the music and that kind of feeling? That's hard to say. I, I don't know how, but um, I have a certain way to compose music in whatever band I'm playing in, and um, it always starts with the guitar in the hand. I don't compose anymore with uh, with only programs like Sibelius or uh, Guitar Pro, any else uh, notation program. And if if you play with your instrument and just working from there, like simple and basic from there and then start to arrange um, a whole song or whatever it is like a three minute short piece or if it's a 10 10 minutes requiem whatever it is <laughs> um, from my perspective if you start with those basics with an instrument in your hand then it gets this natural sound yep. and of course also the the production how you how you record and produce your albums is a is a fact for example, we only use analog equipment. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not a big fan of uh, like reproduced or, or exchanged sounds, especially in terms of drums or guitars. I don't use modeling amps because they don't sound like tube amplifiers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I can tell that I, I wrote a degree in that. So um, I'm, I, I just have my vision and I uh, follow on that. And uh, if I hear, some, for example, from you today, uh, well, I hear this is a certain vibe. This is just saying yes, you're exactly. on the right way. So thank you very much for making this day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what were your expectations for this festival uh, when you when you came to hear of um, a Solar Fall? Uh, did you have any certain expectations? Uh, yes, I wanted to see Impel Nazarene. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. How come? Why? Uh, I met uh, Impel Nazarene a couple of times during uh, festivals during the last years and it's an awesome live band and it's uh, an honor to play with them. Mm -hmm. Because they're also a band that don't play on, in every corner, so this is really cool. Okay. Aside from playing, as I mentioned, a good festival, well uh, organized in Holland. Mm -hmm. And um, last time we played in the Netherlands uh, was a festival, I don't have the name anymore in my mind, but it was in Eindhoven. Mm -hmm. It was also very special in an in a old... I guess it was a, not a cathedral, but something like an old church. Okay. And um, people here just take care about the musicians. And uh, if you play a festival over here, you know, you get a nice catering. You have a lot of cool people around here. Mm -hmm. We saw, of course, the lineup. There are mm -hmm. also a couple of uh, new upcoming bands. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the band Evil and Waiters <laughs> really surprised me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's completely different music, but uh, the guys played an awesome show and it's yeah. a new band I have on the radar right now so yeah. it's just cool All to right. be in, still involved in underground. Cool. Um, then we come to the question what do you think of the Netherlands? Of the Netherlands? Mm -hmm. You really love cheese. No. Uh, <laughs> um, you really don't play soccer that well. Soccer? <laughs> no, me in particular I played soccer when I was a little kid yes. We have nasty tricks uh, when it comes uh, to world championships and uh, European championships. Uh, but not next soccer, time. But, uh, 
Hmm? Not next time, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, next time, no, not next time. But I'm not a soccer fan, so uh, for me it's okay. <laughs> I don't care. No, but um, to be serious, um, a lot of my friends immigrated to the Netherlands, especially to Rotterdam, mm -hmm. because the universities that are uh, focused on music and arts in general, they are way more open-minded, mm -hmm. for example, as in Germany or Austria, Switzerland, where we are based, like, uh, geographically. Yeah. And um, I think that how the Netherlands treats um, and benefits uh, the, the cultural growing Or, or how they support culture in, in, is a complete different model than uh, any country in Europe I know. So this is pretty awesome. Um, all of those venues um, somehow benefit from those programs. I, I know there's a big difference and change in politics right now, mm -hmm. but um, still, this, this is completely different. If you go to a, to a Dutch venue, for example, the O13 in Tilburg, it's, it's the best venue in whole Europe. Like, all touring musicians I know say, oh yeah, if you go to Tilburg... <laughs> so it's Tilburg or Eindhoven. Uh, yeah. That's what I mentioned. If, if you come over here, you know it works. If it's a small venue, if it's a very small show, you know you get treated well. And this is, uh, in my opinion, a part of that, how you look at culture in the Netherlands. And it's, it's just different. It's just different, but I enjoy it very much. Okay, uh, last last question uh, for now. Um, what do you want to say to the metalheads out there? Is there something uh, particular that you want to say to the people uh, watching and listening? Um, well, if you don't know uh, Tulkandra, listen to one or two or three albums we recorded so far. Um, if you want to play a show with a German tech death band, uh, book Obscura. If you don't like us, don't listen to the music, but at least give it a shot. Okay, thank you, Stefan. Hey, thank you very much for the interview. Okay.